Hello there, YouTube. It is your boy, B3, back with another kicking graphic novel review. Today's trade paperback is Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky, Volume 7, Lockdown, from the 2019 to 2021 Daredevil run. Fantastic run, just as a whole. Magnificent book. Let me read you the back of it real quick. The Angel of Death has come to Hell's Kitchen. As a series of grisly murders texts, texts, tests Electra's metal and her commitment to her role as the new Daredevil, the city spirals into a state of panic. With the body count mounting, even the Marvel Universe's deadliest assassin is it somewhat of a loss. Because this serial killer can be in more than one place at a time. A team? A mutant? Or something else entirely? Meanwhile, Matt Murdock faces challenges of his own behind bars after being exposed to a dangerous and experimental compound that makes subjects more aggressive and violent. Whatever happens, one thing is certain. Matt won't be getting time off for good behavior. The next installment of Chip Zdarsky's Eisner Award-nominated run delivers twists, turns, and unexpected allies. Collecting Daredevil 2019, number 31 through 36 by Chip Zdarsky, Mike Hawthorne, Marco Cecito, Zafino Landini, Manuel Garcia, Ardino Di Bendito, Cam Smith, Scott Hanna, Victor Nava, Marcio Menez, and Brian Valina. Ready T for Teen from Marvel Comics. This is a great book. An excellent, excellent book. So, Electra's trying to teach her new little teenage friend how to fight. Uh, Mike Murdoch is pretending to be Matt Murdoch to, you know, try to help Butch sort of become the kingpin. Electra just starts, you know, fucking up drug dealers and she's looking for Izzy Libris. She's not playing around. She's really not. And neither are Kingpin and Typhoid Mary. Everyone is getting fucked up. Bullseye's killing people. He's having, like, visions of this angel surrounded by bullets telling him to kill everyone on the planet to prove that he's the world's greatest killer. It's insane. Daredevil has to threaten the warden uh, in order to get him to stop trying to kill him. <laughs> Electra confronts... Uh, confronts the Libris crime family head, and then Bullseye just starts killing every single person he can find in New York City. Everyone. And Typhoid Mary wants to go out and protect Wilson Fisk, uh, but he doesn't want her to go out and, like, track down Bullseye. You know, Electra talks to Spider-Man a little. Daredevil has to put his mask on so that the police, or well, like I suppose the prison guards that are about to bust into solitary confinement, don't shoot him in the head uh, or see his identity or anything. He has to take them down. Butch takes down Hammerhead, takes one of his eyes out, which is pretty fucking insane. <laughs> Ugh. And then Electra's fighting Bullseye. Bam, boom, bing, bong. And it turns out, uh oh. There's more than one bullseye. There's a whole gaggle of them because Wilson Fisk was going to clone bullseye with a clean slate brain that could be programmed. But since there's all these programmable bullseyes, bull they do whatever the real bullseye tells them because they're super prone to suggestion. So he has a personal army that can't tell him no. That's just as good at killing as he is. And Electra barely gets out of it. She just only does it by outsmarting him in a real desperate way. She gets Iron Man to upgrade uh, her size to give her kind of a Sonari-ish daredevil ability, which is pretty, pretty cool. I have to admit, Detective Cole North is sent in with a gas mask because when Daredevil busts up this operation, that this prison labor operation, he's exposed to this gas. So the prison was making a gas to make inmates more violent uh, and aggressive. Yeah. And they, like, give it to them when they went out on parole, and it would make them 
basically lose their parole and come back into the prison, which would give prisons more money, and you could use it on the prison population to get, and they would get angry and pissed and fight each other and get longer sentences and stuff, which would get the prison more money. And then if you send them out, they'll also transfer it to people in their neighborhoods, but you know, after it transfers, it like it gets weak and won't transfer again. So they're trying to create more criminals so that they can have more inmates so that they can make more money. For-profit prisons should be banned in real life. Anyways, Daredevil, uh, the gas makes him just sick of it. And he's like, you know what? I should just burn the whole fucking system down. Like he's under the influence, but he's not always entirely fucking wrong. <laughs> he's really not it's a really the book makes so many good points about the prison system and the true meaning of justice which is one of my favorite themes in literature and Electra is fighting an army of bullseyes alongside typhoid mary who's wearing a daredevil shirt pretty wild and she the reason she's wearing a daredevil shirt is because she thought it would attract bullseye to her more quickly bullseye Loves to kill him some daredevils. And then Elektra outsmarts him once again. Uh, and it's like, you can't be the world's greatest killer if there are several of you. And so Bullseye tells all his clones to kill each other. She really, really got to him via his ego. Uh, Wilson Fisk decides he wants to marry Typhoid. Marry! And then there's like this, this tipping point where they're walking the line. Daredevil leaves prison to help take down the Bullseyes, which he does. But then the cops show up and they're like, all right, Daredevil, you're going back to fucking prison. Uh, and all the superheroes that are around are like, no, he's not. We're not going to let you take him back to prison. And to de-escalate the situation, Daredevil does turn himself in. But uh, you can really see it heading to Devil's Reign. And they mention the events of Civil War a lot. And they're like, this is getting dangerously close to another superhero registration act. It's pretty fucked. But Daredevil does uh, eventually get out. He does get time off for saving the city. They were right. He did not serve his full stint in prison. <laughs> uh, and it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Also, he fucks Elektra again. He sure does. Daredevil gets, like, laid an insane amount. <laughs> Both Matt Murdock and Daredevil do, to be honest. You know, Kingpin kind of finds out about the existence of Butch as his son, you know, pretty wild. And, you know, Daredevil talks with Mr. Fantastic and Elektra and even Kingpin. A lot of crazy stuff is going on. Butch kills Izzy Libris so that he can really, truly take over the crime family. And Wilson Fisk finds an old file in a safe in his summer home where he and Typhoid Mary are honeymooning. And it says Daredevil Identity, but when he opens it up, all the pages are blank because the children of the Purple Man affected his memory, so he doesn't know Matt Murdock was Daredevil anymore. And that kind of leads straight in to Devil's Reign by Chip Zdarsky, which we will be talking about soon enough. So that's it for Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky, Volume 7, Lockdown. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links down in that description below. And that completes it for this run. I believe um, Zdarsky is still writing Daredevil at the time of recording this. It's just the post-Devil's Reign run. So it's they, I think they're separating it into a technical different run. I think it's called Daredevil and Elektra now. Because they're working together to do hand shit, fist shit. But it's still pretty cool. So that's it. Thank you all once again. And I'll see you all next time when we review more graphic novels.